Well, the winner of this year's Mojave Max Emergence Contest has been announced, and you know our own Nate Tannenbaum was part of that. Let's get over to him this morning. Hi, Nate. Well, hello, Alex. You know, this year's presentation was way different than the past 20 years worth of contest because it was done in a giant online Zoom meeting. So fourth grader Lillian Shern guessed closest to the actual time that the desert tortoise crawled out of his burrow at the Springs Preserve. There we were congratulating Lillian. You may recall we announced that Max woke up at 11.39 in the morning on April 1st. Well, Lillian guessed that he'd wake up at 11.31. So both she and her teacher, Aaron Bybee, get laptop computers from the Mojave Max Education Program. Lillian and all of her classmates also get Mojave Max t-shirts, Olympic-style medals, and Lillian says her guess was not random. Just looking at the previous times, Samuel Harvey Max has woken up, and we noticed there were some for March and some for April, and so I decided, like, I just pretty much had to guess on the spot. You go, Lillian. <laughs> the students also got to see videos of Max wandering around the Springs Preserve. Uh, Lillian and her classmates at the Somerset Academy Sky Point campus had great questions for Zoom meeting guests from both the Springs Preserve as well as Clark County's Desert Conservation Program. And if you or any kid you know would like to learn more about the desert tortoise, we've got links on our website, 8newsnow.com. And I know, Sherry, you have participated in some of the Mojave Max assemblies that we've had down through the years. It's just a great way to try to educate our children about how we share the desert with the tortoise, yet we live so differently. Absolutely, and it's a wonderful conservation program. And you know, the kids really do get interested. They take it very seriously, and they always love to see Max, and Max that's the, the mascot. Max that comes out to visit, <laughs> yes, to visit the kids. He's fun too. Well, and Lillian had like a scientific, apparently, equation to figure it out. She did some background check and she did some work on it. In fact, the teacher <laughs> said all of the kids took it very seriously. Hey, they had a, a, a classroom visit prior to the shutdown uh, from somebody from the Get Outdoors Nevada program that also does the classroom visits. 